Now, my theory on uh, time travel is pretty much absolutely proving the satellites are, that we have, the SOHO and the telescopes that are out there that are proving uh, time and relativity is absolutely correct the way I'm looking at it. The theory and being able to put somebody 72 light years away in about probably about 72 days and putting uh, 72 days worth of travel in 72 minutes probably so forth it doesn't matter now the clock is going to be running and this is more than likely uh, proportional integral derivatives this is uh, Venus very far away shot and basically what you're seeing here and I'm going to zoom in on this star cluster and as you can see the largest couple stars right here of the nuclear fusion in space and we know that there's absolutely more than one in our Van Allen belts and our magnetical in space uh, the sun there is three suns I can prove it it's there's physicists that have been well anyway they're not here anymore they just died of old age it doesn't really matter about that uh, not digging up any old bones so but basically as you can see up behind Venus in how the galaxy keeps growing and space keeps growing and uh, basically space is infinite. Uh, basically there's no walls. We've never, we're never going to find a wall I don't believe in space. It's absolutely infinite. Infinite is infinite and is it forever. Uh, the length of anything that is basically can get out of a magnetical pull of an object and basically stars as you can see way up behind Venus here you get a total clock of a circular rotation to the counterclockwise now when you're watching shots that we see from various of the satellite array of A and B uh, we see objects that rotate we have proved it lately and you watched the video just before this one I'll prove it to you that basically we know that Mercury rotates counterclockwise just like this star cluster is a long ways away uh, quadrillion who knows the distance between from uh, Venus here which Venus rotates counterclockwise and we have seen the system right here in front of your eyeballs because Venus rotates uh, the opposite direction of Earth and all the other planets in our Van Allen belt magnetical to the Sun or suns and you're seeing right here that we are going through a clock play in time where Venus is in opposition from where it basically came directly from in the Big Bangs okay space is too large for there just to have been one Big Bang we all know that okay and we know that they have found the farthest they keep finding the farthest on Hubble telescope they keep fi finding the farthest uh, supernova that's going on black hole which basically it's not a black hole space is always infinite and star clusters are always growing the Milky Way galaxy is always growing we're even getting st in Milky Way galaxy stars from other galaxies okay so the actual factual of being able to do with certain I have light travel down and we could physically do it and we know that we can and a lot of uh, nuclear physicists know that uh, nuclear physicists, space physics same shinola okay and as you see here as the clock remember the satellite is moving to the left which is basically it's moving counterclockwise the same direction that uh, but faster than what Venus more than likely this is Venus right here and more than likely the original Big Bang supernova that it came out of pot quite possibly at very high proportional integral derivatives you pretty much got to figure it because it's pretty much centered right now on a star cluster that moves counterclockwise and when you have a nuclear fusion you have an ex smashing of atoms and basically that's more than likely very high proportional integral derivatives of where Venus came from originally because as you can see through a 24 hour clock that star cluster is rotating counterclockwise as you see those stars twinkle electrical connections in outer space okay very very low voltage okay and then as we basically down it is in the spectrum of communications megahertz okay and all the way through the spectrum okay so now as we pop out a zoom and we pop out of uh, 
we can get rid of the zoom out of there and then we'll pop down on the 777 777 excuse me just no I just don't edit at all and everything like that and there we are at such a BH1 and that's more than likely mercury okay and mercury is just the size of the moon and basically they've recently figured that we've deducted that it's basically ice and yes moisture that comes off of the sun since it's so close and it's an ice ball and it keeps building ice and basically hot objects hit the ice cream cone and then you get craters on it and then also you have to start figuring the elements of we know that the moon is off there and it's very cold in space and it has hot particuli and basically when I if I was to zoom in right now you can see the uh, spectrum of the radioactivity that comes off of the sun in the CMEs that come off the sun and you can see the particuli flying through space yes space dust but at the same time that is all nuclear fusion up there at the sun and it going through space that which is cool then it creates moisture and then when the NASA astronauts have been out on their spacewalks and they feel the warmth they feel the nuclear radioactivity and CO2 that is frozen is 16 times uh, smaller than uh, one CO2 particuli and CO2 is radioactive waste from the core of the earth which basically the core of the earth is basically an old dead star I and mean, lately it's been very highly active because of all the radioactivity that we are getting from space off the sun and other nuclear radii in space and also from Fuka fudge up so that's why all the volcanoes are going crazy and it's all nuclear it's all physics and basically we have a dramatic of just back up the tape and that's a dramatic of that circular motion of the time clock because Venus rotates the opposite direction of Earth and every other planet that we know that's in the Van Allen belts in the magnetical tied to the Sun okay Venus does not rotate the same direction so basically when you have a nuclear reaction you have an explosion and that's more than likely where Venus came from very high proportional integral derivatives of that actual fact and your eyes don't lie to you, you can see that circle of out there of the stars in space. Okay? So this is H1b, and as you can see, the sun is basically not going supernova. Everything is fine. Everything is calm. It's doing what it's doing. When we get X1s, then that's to worry about what the sun's going through, but it's just a time clock. As you can see, that we basically have seen the blinky and see the all the makeup of the sun up there behind the solar panel. Uh, NASA can't hide the truth from us anymore. And yes, we know Big Bangs. We know what a, a, uh, a CO2 proton laser can do. It creates a flame, and it's all fusion, okay? And the sun puts off radioactive fusion, a gamma rays, and uh, beta gamma, okay? And beta gamma is on Earth, man-made, and also uh, basically from man-made of smashing atoms of our nuclear... Uh, uh, scientific experiments to tests to uh, bombs to warfare to everything so uh, radiation okay gamma CPM counts per minute yes beta gamma okay and you get beta gamma off the Sun also but very small much more safer and then basically we do have a co2 thing on earth here but we do have the ability ie a co2 we can basically make a uh, we can make a dynamo a basically a proton dynamo and we don't need to be nuclear nuclear power is in trouble they are losing their grasp on being able to have the control of giving us cheap electricity we're probably going to start burning protons okay with a nuclear basically strike the nuclear basically a proton uh, burning power source and yeah, basically a reactor of proton laser action okay and then using the steam and the heat off of that to propel uh, turbines okay so that's an actual factual and that's my invention okay and now somebody can go ru run off to the patent office but then anyway I have my st time dates and stamps my central standard time is 3:31 p.m. right here 12 4 2012 okay we can get rid of the CO2 it's in our atmosphere there's no problem and also we could get rid of it in another way that I'm keeping secretive and keeping it under my hat because it's a better patent than what basically someone's probably gonna try to steal from me right here okay so
Now, there's a bunch of, uh, basically, the, the, my friends right now would probably be somebody who's a bookie or basically works for uh, any casino, proportional integral derivatives and or basically proportional integral derivatives on the stock market and or uh, derivatives trading, okay? The actual factual is smacking you right in the flipping eyeballs right here. And you're not a scientist, but you will agree with me on proportional integral derivatives on odds that... More than likely, Venus rot it does. Venus rotates the opposite direction of every planet that we know in the Van Allen belts, and Venus is tra trapped in our Van Allen belts. And we do know that stars come into the Milky Way galaxy from other galaxies, and so forth and so on. So, no matter what, we have dramatic proof right here. And then I pumped this up to 777 that we have big bangs, way more than one big bang. That uh, nobody is really wrong on big bangs, and actual factual that you have a very good signature here since Venus rotates the opposite direction and that these star cluster out there does its electrical pulse in a clockwards manner as you can see because this is not going backwards this is going forward 24 hours in a day time and what we've already showed what's rotating around down underneath that satellite uh, solar panel that this is too high of odds to be incorrect it's actual factual it's not even theory so we have a good idea of a time clock especially since the uh, earth is so uh, highly active right now volcano magma which is basically the nuclear core of the earth and we get lava that comes out of Hawaii and basically there was a let me go show you some earthquakes and if we see this dramatic action and I can zoom in on this a little bit more on that star cluster and you can see the total circulation of it and we're pretty much sure that that's Venus. Now in our magnetical to the sun, Van Allen belts, we basically rotate counterclockwise. Now the sunlight from this biggest star on this cluster there, that basically that circular in big bangs out there, way in the dis way who knows quadrillion million miles from uh, astronomical amount from Venus right there, and it's pretty much Venus is pretty much centered on that circle right there as you see. The, it goes uh, counterclockwise. Venus rotates the opposite direction of all the planets in the Van Allen belts, and we know that the, everything that's outside the Van Allen belts, the magnetical to the, our sun, rotates in a clockwise manner around whatever star is the next biggest star that's behind uh, the, most of the shots that we get from core a anything ahead okay so that is moving so we almost basically have come up with a positive theory that every star that is the next star closest to a star is rotating its magnetical energy and rotating the planets around it in a different direction than this next star to the next okay so is that there is plenty of stars between us and that out there in space and the idea that whatever star before that star rotates in a clockwise manner any planets that are around that star okay and then the one in the next star it would be the opposite of the counterclockwise or clockwise so it's pretty much positive now the nuclear core of the middle of the Earth is a, is a old dying star that's basically a very active right now because of magnetical from outer space, uh, other stars. So even though we're a dead star, we're very active. And as you see, we have a 4.7 magnitude quake that's been north of Hawaii, and uh, you should be able to scoot over here, and we'll see. Also, you need to be New Madrid area. You need to be very careful there, and also California with the rain and moisture, the weight will add to possible more traumatic quake eventually out there and as you also see up in Canada if I can scoot the map after that 2.6 there that you have in Indiana they had a quake not a while back up there 4.9 magnitude up in Canada there so we have plenty of quakes going on and then we'll go to some data real fast of 2.0 2 there and like I say I move the map and just watch where all the quakes are going on there's plenty of them there's also that one there I don't know if that's if I hit that one up there by the lakes in Michigan, and there you go, 2.5 magnitude, so there's plenty of quakes. And there's people that are trying to paint comments and trying to put it up that I'm saying the end of the world's coming. It's not. Basically, this is all electrical, magnetical, and you see you get a 5. Anyway, it seems like the data sheet is messing up on here, and we'll cruise down and through. We had that 5.0, and it's 38 kilometers deep that one was at. And remember, everything is a shell game, three-card money, people. 
Uh, there's people that are stars and they have shows and so forth and stuff, and they have Screen Actor Guild's cards and the idea that everybody has a their own. Everybody has their own absolute, and everybody's trying to make me. There's the end of the world's not coming, folks. Okay, so there you got more Fiji action.